guys. Today I just wanted to uh, quickly talk about evangelism and talk about uh, contemporary Christianity versus traditional uh, styles of Christianity, Christianity and uh, fellowship and church. And really what I want to compare is um, and contrast and just discuss um, styles and modalities of evangelism uh, and two really uh, strong examples of differences uh, would be uh, where I go now, Real Life Church in Valencia, California, and let's compare that to Grace Community Church over in uh, the Valley. Um, so if you don't know, Grace Community Church is run by a famous pastor, um, Dr. John MacArthur. And Dr. John MacArthur is he's a great pastor, he's a great leader, he's hardcore, um, super, you know, traditional uh, evangelist, I mean not evangelist, uh, tr super traditional um, Christian, and um, he's super hard into doctrine, which is great, and he teaches people, and he really talks about the fundamentals of uh, Christianity and all that he does, and it's really centered on on doctrine, the core doctrines, and maybe some apologetics thrown in there. And I was having a discussion with one of my friends at work who goes to Grace Community, and I, I'm not, I'm not biblically illiterate. I've read the Bible several times through. Um, I've been a believer since 07. Um, and I actually came from uh, listening to uh, Chuck Smith and Greg Laurie and Dr. Uh, David Jeremiah and uh, people like this on K-Wave and so uh, it's more of I'm kind of leaning more into the Arminian uh, type of theology as it pertains to like salvation and predestination I'm more of like an Arminian uh, instead of uh, Calvinist where I feel like most people that listen to John MacArthur and really subscribe to his beliefs like super hard uh, would probably be more in that category, like my friend uh, at work, John. So, um, really, it's I'm kind of compa I had a discussion with them, and we we're discuss discussing uh, evangelism and styles of preaching and styles of of um, design within the church. Now, his church is very traditional. It's very um, you know, it's a convicting type of. You know, he's preaching the word, he's preaching the gospel, and he's preaching it into its full effect uh, for people that I believe are mature believers that understand grace and that understand um, salvation and that understand the core doctrines, and I, and I totally understand that. Um, the church that I go to now is Real Life Church in Valencia, and that is geared primarily toward non-believers. And so we were discussing what you know, are the difference is between our churches, the styles of leadership and the styles of preaching and the um, styles of outreach and comparing and contrasting that. And I feel like um, every church should be tailored, and this is the point I'm really trying to make, I'll, and I was making to him, every church should be tailored to the community in which it serves and it is trying to outreach. Now every church should be have some element of evangelism because uh, the Bible tells us we need to preach to all the world and preach to every creature the gospel of Jesus Christ and salvation. And I was, he was arguing, well, your church might be a little watered down. Like you don't really hear the gospel and you don't teach doctrine in the church uh, as far as like on the main services. Um, it's more primarily a topical study um, and it's called Real Life Church because it's trying to take a few passage, uh, passages out of the Bible um, and connect it with a topic and then and, and really um, hone in on the challenges of, every, uh, of daily life, being Christian and, and really focusing on evangelism and on relationships and on family and on dealing with these difficulties in relationships and, and stuff like that. And that's what people in my community maybe uh, care about a lot. They care a lot about relationships it's a middle-class community it's about relationships it's about um, how to deal with family issues how to deal with other people with codependence how to deal with drugs uh, how to deal with these these issues that surround the community in which I live and 
they do a great job and our church is growing and it, it's and we have about 4,000 people and it's a church plant of another church um, Shepherd of the Hills in Porter Ranch California and so that that's from the pers that is the perspective uh, from which uh, the ministry, our ministry team is coming from and all the pastoral team is going toward. Now that doesn't, I, I will say if I'm, if I am, you know, I'm, I'm there and I'm hearing the, the preaching, they don't, you know, it's, it's so, it's a little too much geared toward, um, relationships that doesn't really preach the, go the gospel, um, you know, in the same way that John MacArthur would every, the, he pulls the gospel out of every, uh, you know, um, out of every, out of every service you'll hear the gospel, uh, and my church is not like that. It's not every service you'll hear the gospel. It, it does talk a lot about grace and about God, and you'll hear you'll hear things about God. But it's more of like a, like I said, it's focused on fixing relationships and real life problems. Is this wrong? Is it wrong? Is is my church wrong in doing that instead of being more like uh, John MacArthur's church, where it's doctrine twenty four seven doctrine. Uh, holiness of God, the grace of God, salvation, the mechanisms of the gospel. Um, and I'll say no, it's not wrong and neither are wrong and different parts of the body of the ministry uh, have different functions and that's what I really want to emphasize in this video. Uh, you know, your church might not be the same as that other church. Your church may be growing faster than another church, but each church has their mission they're a part of the body, and not all the churches are the same, and they serve different functions. I will say that my church, though it does not go deep into the fundamentals of Christianity on a weekly basis in their main preaching, they do have um, recovery groups. They have Bible studies that go on. Um, they have uh, groups called uh, a group called First Steps for new believers teaching that doctrine. So it's not like you're not getting it, but you need to be, you can't go in there, you can't go into the service and get 100% fed um, and learn 100% just by doing the weekly services. You have to go deeper than that and you have to sign up for these uh, additional classes uh, to learn about these, do these core doctrines of Christianity. And I think that's a really important part of Christianity and the church that I go to also feels that it's an important part to learn the doctrine. Uh, and the mechanisms of faith, the mechanisms of Christianity and the gospel and the Bible. Um, but, you know, I do wish that it was a little more of the meat and a little less of the milk and a little, little less of the, um, of the relational topical studies. And it's a little more expositional going verse by verse, chapter by chapter. And that is what uh, some of my favorite preachers do, like... Um, Pastor Steve Wilburn at Core Church LA, he does a, he does that type of thing. Uh, Greg Laurie does a topical study, but he also does focus a lot on doctrine and on, on mechanisms of the faith and, and stuff like that. And you know, there's just it, it's a spectrum. It is a spectrum of on this end you'll have doctrine, and then you'll kind of cross over to topical and relational and stuff like that. And some some churches are different and some churches have different focuses. And that's really what I want to say. The main statement is, of, of this video is there is a spectrum of, of, of functions, of modalities of evangelism, modalities of preaching. And I think no church is, I'm not gonna say no church is wrong. There are obviously some churches that are lacking in their ministry, but it's not to say that the spectrum hardline Christian, hardline traditionalism on the right is better than um, evangelistically focused preaching on the left. There is, it needs to be a, a, a mix. And when you find that real good um, center center spot, I think you should stick right there. Uh, and you know, if this church is teaching doctrine but not really doing a, lot, a whole lot of uh, evangelism, then you know, you need to be in the middle. You need to do all of those things. And some places focus a little more on one thing, some focus a little more on the others. And so it's important to really recognize that um, no, just because you're on one side or the other doesn't mean you're wrong. It just means that um, you have a different function. And everyone should strive to be in the middle, though. And I do, I do think that 
is is true and I think uh, my church may be lacking a little bit in that and maybe John MacArthur's church is lacking a little bit on the, on the other end where my church is, is, is flourishing by reaching out to non-believers primarily and their church services are designed and their ministry is designed for non-believers it's not for Christians we don't have the lights and the great music for the for the traditional Christian people we don't sing hymns in our church um, and that's primarily because our church is evangelistically focused very very heavily focused on evangelism instead of uh, the doctrines and the hymns and the traditional values and stuff like that um, it's a church where unbelievers can go and feel comfortable and get the gospel and get saved it's a I would say it's a starting church church where you're a great church where you start at and if you you can still continue in that church if you follow the programs uh, and the, and do your own Bible study on the side uh, to learn those core doctrines so that's kind of what I had to say and just one more uh, kind of metaphor it, um, just kind of an example of of, of this you know in, in, per, in parenting you wouldn't treat every single kid exactly the same no there's no blanket approach if you have multiple kids there there's mul there there are multiple personalities and multiple beliefs and ideas and and they're different and they're individuals and you have to tailor fit your um, correction and your punishment and your um, you know uh, parenting style to that individual uh, kid noting their strengths and their weaknesses and their struggles and it's an individualistically individualistically focused parental uh, design or parental method uh, in that so in the same way churches often do that they are tailor fitted to the community by which they serve or to which they serve and um, that is a good thing it's a very good thing and of course we would uh, want to do that because we're so there's so many different cultures and ethnicities and ideals and values and 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 uh, socioeconomic uh, factors that go into different neighborhoods that you really want to tailor fit your uh, preaching to a specific your target audience and I think that's good and it shouldn't be a blanket approach like Common Core it was a terrible idea um, because it's just a blanket approach everyone learns the same thing and it just it doesn't work as, as effectively as a tailor fitted community based uh, educational style and educational goals to reach the community where they're at and um, and yeah, a lot of people are going to be missing out if there's a blanket approach and everyone has to standardizely center in a standardized method learn the same exact thing at the same exact time, the same exact pace. It doesn't really work as well as a tailor fitted um, approach uh, to education or to teaching or to anything in life. So that is my main point. Everything needs to be tailor fit to the community in which they serve. Um, you need to treat people. Um, having a holistic view of the community and the individuals that you serve and tailor fit your your, your thinking, your preaching, your styles uh, to meet the needs of the, the community. And some communities might not have a, the same needs. Uh, like the community may be rich and this other community may be poor. That other com community might be struggling with racism. That other community might be struggling uh, with uh, drug addiction and so on and so forth. So that's my idea. That is a 13 and a half minute video uh, about this subject and hopefully that was informative and please uh, go ahead and leave your comments below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if this is way off. Tell me if you liked it. If it had anything that you wanted to add to the discussion uh, below. Go ahead and click subscribe and give it a like, a thumbs up. Um, I know it's just a weird, um, you know, it's weird just, you know, staring at the, at the, at the road so hopefully that's not too distracting and hopefully you didn't click off the video early because of that but uh, yeah hopefully you got something out of this and um, keep doing what you're doing uh, keep reaching out and keep being bold in the faith uh, keep growing and and you know serve our God okay see you guys later